In this video, we are going to see the method of undetermined coefficients to solve the non-homogeneous linear differential equations. So, supposing the linear differential equation is given to us in this form. So, as usual, we have to find the CF and then the PI has to be found by a different method which is the method of undetermined coefficients. So in this method depending upon the nature of x, depending upon the nature of x we are going to assume a trial solution for the given differential equation and then we are going to find the PI. However you have to understand that there are some limitations to this method and this method mostly works when this x which is given over here is either a polynomial, an exponential, a sine or cosine or a linear combination of those kind of functions. So now we will see how to use the method of undetermined coefficients by means of an example. So this is the example which is given to us. So this is the non-homogeneous linear differential equation. So as per the methods which were discussed in the earlier video, first of all we will find the CF. Now the CF in this case is equal to C1 e raised to 2x plus C2 e raised to minus 5x. So it is suggested that uh, you go back to the videos on the uh, finding out the complementary function of the linear differential equation and just see how this was obtained. Now we are going to see how to find the particular integral by making use of the method of undetermined coefficients. So over here in the RHS we can see that there are two functions. One of them is minus 130 cos x and the second one is 16 into e raised to 3x. So we are going to find the particular integral going step by step. So first thing we are going to find pi. First pi we will find first one which will be of the first function that is minus 130 by cos x. So over here like it was mentioned earlier in the video we are going to we are going to follow the method of trial solution. So over here we can see that this is a cosine function. So therefore we can make a guess that the trial solution over here that is a particular integral is going to be a combination of sine and cosine functions. So we can write like this trial trial let y be equal to let's say a cos x plus b sine x. So in our equation we have got d2y by dx square plus 3 dy by dx right. So what we are going to do is we are going to find that. So dy by dx is equal to minus a sin x okay plus b cos x and d2y by dx square is equal to minus a cos x and minus b sin x. Now we are going to substitute all these values that is y dy by dx and d2y by dx square in the given equation which is the given differential equation. So if we substitute these values over here remember we are finding pi only for this part. So we are going to use only this. This we will solve later on in the same way by assuming one trial solution. So what I will write therefore, therefore d2y by dx square plus 3dy by dx minus 10y is equal to minus 130 cos x is in place. See here we have found the value so this we are going to substitute minus a cos x minus b sin x then over here plus 3 times so minus 3 a sin x okay and 
plus 3p cos x minus 10y it is so this is this is the value of y so minus 10a cos x minus 10b sin x is equal to minus 130 cos x and now we are going to simplify all this so we will take the sine and the cosine terms common right so by taking the sine and the cosine terms grouping them together that is implies cos x into bracket i will write minus a plus 3b minus 10a okay plus i will write over here sin x into bracket now all the sine terms are being grouped together so minus b then minus 3a okay and minus 10b this is this is equal to this is equal to minus 130 cos x okay now what you have to do you have to equate the coefficients so over here what we will do like coefficients are to be equated so this implies further on if any simplification is possible you can just uh, check it out if there is any simplification which is possible with the grouping of the terms so some more simplification can be done over here we can write minus 10 and minus a so minus 11a plus 3b then plus sin x and 2 what we'll write minus 11b minus 3a is equal to minus 130 cos 6 so now we will now that everything is simplified we will just equate the like coefficients so this implies minus 11a plus 3b is equal to minus 130 and we will get also minus 11b minus 3a is equal to 0 because there is no sign term on the RHS so that is why it is equal to 0. So if we solve this equation if we solve this equation we will get the value of b as minus 3 and a as 11. So therefore the particular integral of part the first function in this case pi for the first function is equal to 11 cos x we are substituting the value of a and b in the trial solution minus 3 sin x this is the particular integral of the first function likewise now we are going to use this method to find the particular integral of the second function in the given differential equation now in the same way by using the method of undetermined coefficients we are again going to find the particular integral for the second uh, function in the right hand side which was 16 e raised to 3x now since the function is of the exponential form we are going to put the trial solution trial particular integral as a e raised to 3x now in our equation we have dy by dx so we will find dy by dx is equal to 3a e raised to 3x also we have d2y by dx square so this is equal to 9a e raised to 3x now we will substitute in the given equation so we are finding out particular integral of d2y by 2x square plus 3 dy by dx 
minus 10y is equal to 16 e raised to 3x. So we are going to substitute all this, the trial solution, then the first derivative, second derivative in this equation. So therefore we will get, therefore, 9a e raised to 3x plus 3 times 3, so that will again give us 9 a e raised to 3x minus 10 a e raised to 3x is equal to 16 e raised to 3x. So this implies 8 a e raised to 3x is equal to 16 e raised to 3x. So this implies that a is equal to 2. So therefore, therefore, particular integral in this case for part 2 is going to be equal to 2 e raised to 3x. So finally we will combine the CF and the PI and then we are going to get the solution to the problem. So you will write so the total is equal to 11 cos x minus 3 sin x plus 2 e raised to 3x. And finally, the solution y is equal to cf plus pi. So you can just check what was the cf and then here we have got the pi and that is going to be the solution to the problem. So likewise, supposing in the RHS, you have got some function like this. Suppose RHS is, let's say, a polynomial of this form, 2x square minus x minus 3. Then in that case, what you have to do? Let the trial pi be, let trial pi be a polynomial. So this polynomial we can write it as let us say ax square plus bx plus c. Then once again you will differentiate, substitute, equate the like coefficients and find the value of the pi. Now for practice you can just try to solve these two sums by making use of the method of undetermined coefficients. <laughs>